This is Tyree Kill. Mahomes. Open. Hill. Touchdown. And last season, he was traded to the Miami Dolphins. So today, we're going to be erasing that trade and sending him back to Kansas City to see how the NFL plays out. So as you guys can see, my boy Tyree Kill is back on the Kansas City Chiefs. And I mean, we all know Patrick Mahomes and Tyree Kill were probably one of the best duos we've ever seen. So the fact that they're both on the same team again is terrifying for the rest of the league. So I definitely have some high hopes for this team. I mean, there's no way we go this whole video without winning a Super Bowl. But we're going to go ahead and get it started and sim to the playoffs and see what's up. And as you can see, we're going to go 16-1 and to win the division. And we're obviously going to get the number one seed in the playoffs. I mean, as you can see, Tyree Kill tied his career high with 15 touchdowns. So, I mean, obviously, this duo is pretty much unbeatable still, but we played a Ravens in the first round. Lamar Jackson is a really tough match for the first game of the playoffs. But as you can see, we're going to barely sneak away with the win. So now we have to play Josh Allen and the Bills for a trip to the Super Bowl. I'm definitely excited to play this drive because, I mean, we all seen how good Patrick Mahomes and Tyreek Hill were as a duo like two years ago. Just a ma Oh, dude, Tyreek Hill's wide. Oh, that's going to be a one play touchdown. You have got to be joking right now. That route running was perfect i mean the bills defense obviously collapsed because there's no one in the backfield but i mean you cannot let a guy as fast as tyree kill be wide open like that but anyways now it's time to sim and honestly after that i cannot see us losing this game but i mean as you can see in the fourth quarter uh josh allen is kind of clapping us right now so it's looking like josh allen and the bills are finally gonna beat the chiefs in the playoffs after losing to him every season so far i mean i'm not gonna lie i I did not expect that to happen. Just because we have Tyreek Hill back, I thought we were going to be unstoppable. But apparently, we're going to get stopped by Josh Allen and Stefan Diggs. But on the bright side, Patrick Mahomes did win MVP this season. And it looks like the Bills are actually going to win a Super Bowl with a two-point win over the Eagles. So, I mean, they were cutting it close there. But, I mean, I guess the heartbreak Super Bowl run for the Bills is finally over. This was probably not a very smart move. But uh, I franchise-tagged Orlando Brown. So, we are way in the negative which means we are losing quite a few players and we're also not going to be able to pick anyone up in free agency but anyways that's going to bring us to year number two i'm not even going to bother showing you guys the roster because it really hasn't changed at all i mean we have patrick mahomes and tyree kill that's really all we need but again we're going to go Ooh. ahead and sim to the playoffs and see what's going on and as you can see we're going to go 16 and 1 again to win the division and we're also going to get the number one seed in the playoffs for the second season in a row so i mean the first two seasons of this video so far we've only lost three games including the playoff loss to josh allen but we played a raiders in the first round there's no chance in hell we are losing this game and as you guys can see the raiders got absolutely cooked so now we play the titans for a trip to the super bowl i mean their offense is a 77 Ooh. overall i have no idea how they're in the playoffs I mean, that's definitely a good sign for us, though, because considering that, our defense should be able to have a field day with this offense. Let's go, Tyreek. We're still up. No way we haven't got taken down yet. You're not catching us. Never mind. We're going to get caught. Okay, we were super fast, and then that guy kind of just came up out of nowhere. But, I mean, either way, that is a ridiculous way to start this game off. We should be able to get a touchdown as long as Kelsey's open and he is wide open. So, we're going to sneak in for probably the easiest touchdown we're going to get today. So, we're going to take the lead first here now it's time to sim again i cannot see the titans 77 overall offense beating us and as you can see in the fourth quarter the titans are getting absolutely packed right now i mean they've scored 10 points we might hit 50 if we keep getting the ball back we're not going to but i mean that game was not even close if you're a titans fan that one probably really hurt to watch. I mean, this should have happened last year, but Josh Allen kind of got his revenge on us. But anyways, in year number two, Patrick Mahomes and Tyreek Hill are heading back to the Super Bowl. And as you can see, we got a Super Bowl rematch against the Eagles, which is terrifying to see. They have an 88 overall defense, so this game is not going to be easy. And Jalen Hurts also won MVP this year, and they also got coach of the year. Oh, bro, you've got to be joking. The Eagles have the best defense in the league right now, too, so it is really hard to get first downs against them. Tyreek is wide open though, so that's gonna be one. The Eagles made it all the way to the Super Bowl last year, but they did lose to Josh Allen, so I already know they're gonna be hungry for the win this year. This drive has been so hard. I mean, we've already had three third down conversions. This defense is not playing around today, but we're finally gonna find Tyreek Hill open. 
So that took a long time, but we're in the end zone, so we'll tie the game up. Now it's time to sim, though, and I know damn well that this is probably not gonna end well. But as you can see, we have the lead in the fourth quarter. The Eagles are starting to claw back, though, which I don't like to see. They're gonna tie the game up with 47 seconds left. Jalen Hurts is on a different type of timing today, but we're gonna get a game-winning field goal. Okay, that is the exact same thing that happened this year, so, I mean, I guess we got a rerun. I mean, Jalen Hurts played his ass off. That was a really, really tough game to play. But in the end, our boy Patty Mahomes is gonna come out on top with a three-point win, so we're gonna get another Lombardi trophy. Oh, uh, we are $9 million in the negative right now. I had to franchise tag Orlando Brown again. We just won the Super Bowl, but apparently that's not enough for this guy. If he wants to leave next year, I'm just gonna let him go, but I really wanna keep him on this team for as long as possible. So, I mean, obviously, we're still gonna have the exact same team as the last two seasons seasons but that's not a bad thing i mean we still have a 93 overall offense and an 87 overall defense so our players are progressing nicely we just won the super bowl and we went 16 and won the last two seasons so i mean we're kind of living the high life right now but anyways we're gonna go ahead and sim to the playoffs again and i guess we'll see if patty mahomes and tyree kill can run it back and as you can see we're gonna go 15 and 2 to win the division for the third season in a row and we're also gonna get the number one seed in the playoffs for the third season in a row and as you can see we're gonna be playing the Bengals in the first round i'm pretty sure this is the third time we're playing them and hopefully this can be the third time that we beat them and as you can see we're gonna barely escape with the win so now we play the steelers out of all teams for a trip to the super bowl as you can see the steelers scored first so apparently our defense is taking a nap today i mean the steelers are kind of exactly the same as the ravens they have a really mid offense but their defense is really terrifying to play against they're definitely top 10 that hurdle was nasty you're joking that's gonna be a touchdown tyree kill is so good like i can't even express it but now it's time to sim their defense is good so they could win this game but i i can't see that happening but as you can see in the fourth quarter, I mean, things are not looking so well for us. Actually, we tied the game up. We're doing fine, but their defense is definitely clapping us. We are not getting a lot done on offense. That's why we're in overtime right now. Oh, I did not think this would happen. We actually lost to the Steelers. The Steelers are going to the Super Bowl. I mean, it does make more sense than a lot of teams we could have lost to. But again, their offense is not the best in the league, but their defense clapped us. So, I mean, they definitely deserve that one. But anyways Aaron Rodgers won MVP which is surprising because I thought he would have retired by now and it looks like the Steelers are going to end up beating the Saints in the Super Bowl so they have seven championships now that is a crazy number but once again as you can see here in the re-signing stage we are running low on money so we're going to be losing quite a few players this season but anyways that's going to bring us to year number four which is going to be the final season of this video and even though we lost quite a few players this offense is still looking very good good and same story with the defense i mean they're not the best defense in the league but they can definitely push us to the playoffs i mean we did lose a lot of players so i don't know if this is going to be a super bowl year but we should definitely make it to the playoffs there is no way we miss out but we're gonna sim to the playoffs again and see what's going on and as you can see we're gonna go 16 and 1 to win the division for the fourth season in a row and we're also gonna go ahead and snatch up the number one seed in the playoffs for the fourth season in a row and as you can see we gotta play the Raiders in the first round they are 10 and 7 so I mean this could be a tough game they did have a pretty good year but apparently we're gonna get a 38 to nothing shutout win so now we play the Bills for a trip to the Super Bowl I mean I thought the Raiders would actually do something they didn't score a single point so I was way off on that one but anyways I already know this is gonna be a really tough matchup we lost to Josh Allen and the Bills last time we played them I'm really hoping that we can get our revenge here how are we still going that is a crazy run I'm not a Chiefs fan at all but i mean you chiefs haters are gonna hate to hear this isaiah pacheco is probably one of the most underrated running backs in the league right now that's a big pickup from tyreek i mean this is a really fun duo to use though i would hate to see it come back in real life though because i mean if they were a duo again, we all know the chiefs would probably win the super bowl every season four yards to go by the way so this should be an easy touchdown i'm just gonna run double slants and hopefully we don't throw a pick that's looking promising we're gonna find more for the touchdown so that's gonna give us the lead here I'm not gonna lie though I am definitely nervous to sim just because we lost to the Bills last time we played them but as you can see in the fourth quarter here it's looking like we're probably gonna get our revenge there's no way they come back at this point especially since we just put three more points on the board so we're gonna take a 10 point win which is gonna send us to the Super Bowl 
Bowl. And as you can see, we got another Super Bowl rematch against the Niners this time. They're 14 and three. So again, this is gonna be a really difficult game. But as you can see, we're gonna win another MVP with Patrick Mahomes this season. Zach Taylor won coach of the year, which I mean, that's kind of reasonable. I mean, our defense blessed us up. So we have the ball at the 43 to start this game off. We definitely need to make sure we get a touchdown here though, because the Niners defense is really tough to play against just like the Eagles. That's a big pickup from Kelsey. And I mean, their offense is obviously really good too. So this game's probably going to come right down to the wire. Let's go Pacheco. That's another first. Slants gave me a touchdown last time I ran it. So I'm going to see if it can work again. That is looking promising. That guy got knocked off by his own defender. So we're going to get another touchdown with Sky Moore. I mean, Sky Moore has actually been going off the last few games for us. But again, it's time for the moment of truth. We're going to sim to the end of this game and see if the Niners come. Oh, that's not good. That is not good. As you can see, we have a really close game in the fourth quarter. As I called it, this game's going to come right down to the wire. It's just back and forth. It's pretty much whoever throws an interception first is probably going to lose. That's not good. We're going to lose by three points. You have got to be joking, man. I thought we were going to get our second Super Bowl against the Niners here, but I mean, they kind of went off. So that is a very tough way to end this video off. I mean, we did have four really solid seasons, and I'm happy that we won at least one super bowl but in the end this team just wasn't built good enough to beat the niners so they're gonna be hoisting the lombardi trophy to end off this video but anyways that's gonna do it for this one if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like and subscribe it really help out the channel if you have any video ideas feel free to leave them down in the comment section below i'll try to get to as many of them as i can and while you're down there you might as well comment the most random thing you can think of so we can confuse everybody in the comment section but other than that i'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.